subscribers and anyone new to my channel, welcome, welcome. If you guys like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, as you can see, I've already pre-shuffled all the cards and laid them out <clears throat> for time, of course, because that's a lot of cards. <clears throat> okay, so all we need now is the overall chakra card or the overall reading of which chakra is most important during this time. Okay, to get you balanced. Okay. Getting you balanced, it helps you manifest and helps you move along on a positive note within your life. Okay. And we have solar plexus chakra, which is located above the belly button. This is going to be the I can, I can do this. This is where you're going to get that stride to say, I can do it, I can do it. Right? The little engine that could getting straight in there and knowing that you can do things. Oops, excuse me, that's still out from the last reading. I, didn't, I forgot that card. Okay, so having all of that instilled within you is going to keep you balanced. You also have the instinct here, which is the chakra card of the crown chakra. Crown chakra is the I know. Having that inner wisdom, knowing what your instinct is, knowing that there is things that you need to do, but mm, here comes the problem, right? Can I let it go? Can I move forward? Should I trust my inner guidance? And it's telling you, yes, use your instinct. Use that instinct and that intuition to move forward. You know the answer. I love this one because this is right underneath it, which is follow the path that's right for you. Instinctively, you know what path it is. It's just that you need to open up your crown chakras and get your chakras going so that you can see, and here it is, I can see with the beautiful purple chakra over here of the third eye, you can see where you need to be. You know exactly where you really need to be, guys. Okay, you just need to really keep that open so that you know the truth. Okay, and this is, I can see that I'm also in a waiting game. You know, I, you know, I need to trust these instincts. It's kind of like a wishy-washy kind of feeling over here because it feels like instinctively you know where you should go, but you're not sure if this is the right path that you should follow. But it's obviously telling you, follow the right path for you. You know what it is. Okay, so tell yourself you can do this. This is good for yourself. Okay, over here you have the snake. Live accordingly to your divine essence. Once again, now we have the essence coming out with the knowing. So therefore, deep down inside, you know what the plan really is. You just need to really open up this chakra so you can say, I can do this. I know that this is where I really need to be. Okay. The angels are telling you there is something better. Something better out there. There is a gift for you. If you go on the path that's right for you, you can get to where there's something better. Okay. Over here you have the Six of Pentacles giving. Ooh. You need to give to yourself to understand. It almost feels like you're giving to everybody else, but there's a weakness of getting to where you need to give to yourself. Right. So you have no problems giving to the world. You help many people out. But when it comes to yourself, it's kind of like, no, no, I, I don't know if that's right for me. You know, I can kind of see a path that I'm supposed to be on, but there's kind of this contradiction going on whether or not um, it's really good for you or not. Is this what I should give to myself? Is this right for me? But deep down inside, you already know the answer, you guys. You're just having a hard time doing it. Okay. And that's really what it feels like. So you're kind of weak when it comes to really following this path and this instinct. Um, like I said, it feels a little, kind of wishy-washy. Okay, so let's get our tarot cards over here. Once you get these three chakras really balanced, you'll be able to get to there that something better for you that you already know exists out there for you. <clears throat> Gemini. Yeah, you need to put an end to this wishy-washy behavior. You need to put an end to not taking on the instincts that you know. Put an end to all of that. Understanding that this chapter needs to be closed in order for you 
to continue to get to where you need to be. Staying in here is not helping. It's putting you in this waiting game, and this waiting game is actually more like, it feels more like procrastination. Yeah. With the moon over here, you have the perfect timing right now to follow the path that's right for you to really get into your divine essence and use these instincts, okay? And you have the Knight of Swords. You need to get in there bearing. This is, okay, the Libra cards. You need to get in there, start being overbearing. Start really pushing the envelope, okay, on this one. Why? Because you already know where you're supposed to be. Yep, three of wands. You are just keep deciding and keep strategizing whether or not this is good for you. I feel like you have the strategy. You understand what's really good for you, but you're not going to take your hand off that wand and really go for the gusto. You're just going to allow yourself to sit in this waiting game. It's almost like you're waiting. You're almost allowing the universe to do it for you, but it's not going to. Okay. The universe is not just going to pick up this pace. This is something you actually have to take action on. Okay. King of Cups. Keeping yourself emotional, emotionally balanced. Keeping yourself loyal to the understanding that there is something better. Keeping yourself emotionally <laughs> balanced in your ideas and your intuitions. You perceive things. You know what's coming. You know that there is something there. I just feel like you're kind of fence sitting. Not taking that action. Two of Cups. Are you looking to move towards a Libra or a another air sign or a water sign? I have two things of Pisces over here now. But it could be, are you looking to move towards a water sign? Are you perceiving the actions? Do you think that they're just going to come to you? Like if you just sit over here fence sitting and don't do anything about it, are you, you know, huh, thinking they're just going to move towards you? It looks like it's not. It's not. Your instincts say you need to help move this way with the Knight of Swords. You have to help this relationship. By moving. Okay. Yeah. You know what you're supposed to be doing, and it gives you Nine of Swords. <clears throat> okay. And if you're not moving towards this person, then you're moving away from this person. It's going to be hard. It's going to be a little bit different for each and every one of you because of the instinct card is moving on from the past or moving into something better. So take it how it resonates for you guys, okay? Because it's either putting an ending to this relationship or just putting an ending to not using your intuition, right? So you're either going to go into someone or you're coming away from someone, okay? For a lot of you, it looks like you really need to dig deep into your, your, in, your instincts to go towards this other person is what it looks like. Like I said, it looks like they're, they're giving to you. Like I said, you're giving a lot to somebody else, but you're not giving unto yourself. And then for some of you, it also feels maybe like they're giving a lot to you and you're kind of taking a step back. Hmm. Take it how it resonates. Like I said, general readings, is, they have a lot of different meanings. So, um, but just going over here... Or, it looks like you really have to put it into this wishy-washy behavior no matter what. Follow the path that's right for you. Become the imprints that you are. Really holding tight to the prosperity and the love and the nurturing. Show this person your loving and nurturing. Show this person what you need to do. Okay. Move towards the path that you're right, that's rightfully yours. I feel like for a lot of you, because you're not... Maybe you're, maybe the weakness over here is um, because you're not giving to yourself. It's like you're not giving this person a chance, but you want to. Instinctively, it's like, I know they're good for me, but I don't want to. You kind of close down. But over here, you have this insomnia and this like fear. And fear of love. Insomnia about this love. Insomnia and scared to do so, but the angels say there's something better. 
They're telling you, you know, you do this and you follow this path. This is good for you. This is definitely good for you. Get out of that energy. <clears throat> yeah, relationship. Something better for you. This relationship. Hierarchy coming up. Ace of Pentacles. Hopes and promises coming towards you as soon as you, as you know that you follow this path. Keep this chakra open because you can do this. You can make this love. Get away from this, this feeling. What if I own the Hierophant? On the Hierophant for me, please. Four of Wands, passion and love. You could be wedding. Oh my gosh. Somebody, I don't know. I just got this feeling too. <clears throat> Is it the, the, did the King of Cups over here ask you to marry them and you got weak knees? And you instinctively know, this is for somebody, you instinctively know that you should do this. You know it's the right thing to do, but you don't know the answer, right? Like you're like pushing away from the answer. Like you haven't answered their question yet. You know? Wow, I kind of got that one too. But you need to say, you know, I can because you know, instinctively know this is a good thing. Ace of Cups. You guys could be definitely that King of Cups over there. A lot of cups. Could be dealing with a water sign. Oh my. Three aces. Hopes and promises with something better. Ace of Cups. Sitting on top of the Hierophant. Ace of Wands. Sitting over here on top of the Four of Wands. Passionate new beginnings. Love. Passion, fresh new starts, all fresh new starts anyways, giving you your cups overfilled with the promises, prosperities. But you already know this. You already know this, Gemini. You already know that this is what it is. You're just feeling wishy-washy. <clears throat> You know this person could be right for you. This is a person who, yeah, messages you. Emperor. You feel that they're your emperor. Your emperance. However, they're the person that you can trust. They're mature enough. They're responsible enough. You know that they're good for you. You know that this is the right path that you should follow. Yeah. Chariot coming in. Could even been something you tried to manifest in the past and then all of a sudden it happens and then all of a sudden you get your chakras all messed up and you're like confused. Um, and it's almost like, hey, you know. For a lot of you, you're just, you're waiting to take action with this cups, but this cups has already made action with you. And I just feel like there's fear with the Nine of Swords. Fear of getting hurt. Fear of, fear of moving forward. Could definitely be dealing with cancer. Yeah. Yeah, focus. You're focusing on moving towards them no matter what. You're all up in your head. <clears throat> definitely all up in your head. You need to open up these chakras so that way you can get yourself all balanced. You're really imbalanced right now, but you absolutely know the truth. You've been focusing on the truth in the near future. You know, you take this chance with this person and, you know, the angels say there's something better. There is definitely something better. You have three aces over here within a relationship of four of wands. So you know that this person is very good for you. You just need to travel on what's right for you and really get into your instinct. Yeah, really get into your intuition and take that action. Okay, and that was for you, my friends. Peace and love. Bye-bye.